Um, it's nine, ten minutes after nine, Monday morning. It's like waking up to a hangover. Not knowing how you got home, not knowing what happened the night before. So you get you a cup of joe. To try to shake off that night before. That's basically what I'm doing today. Seventeen nine. Eagles win, Eagles win, Eagles win. You know, let me say, man, I'm cool with it if this means that we're going to get a new coach. Not just one coach, a whole coaching staff. I'm not looking forward to a coach from there within the organization. It's not going to work. <clears throat> I'm more, <clears throat> excuse me. I'm more okay with if we just going to clean house. And bring in Mike McCarthy. Here's a sad thing, man. We hadn't done anything since Jimmy Johnson left. When does it come to a time where, you know, even, even if you build it on a, doing a project on your home or doing some type of project, doing anything, and you start a project at a certain particular time and you, you, there comes a time after a while when you have to stand back and look at your work and say, ah, that just doesn't look right. <laughs> Maybe I need to call somebody to help me do this. But then you got those that are bullheaded. And regardless if it looks what it looks like, it's they feel that it's their job to make. Here come my grandson. Yeah, okay, I'm on my way. Thank you. I'll be that short. It's breakfast time, y'all. I got a good wife. She takes care of her cowboy fan and her slash husband. So it comes a chance. It comes a time where you have to look, sit back, and you got to say, you know what? I better call somebody that knows what they're doing. And that's Jerry Jones. Basically, all I can say is Jerry Jones, just what you ask for is what you get. You messed up a good thing. It's like having one of them good girlfriends. You want to go creep off and go all that Susie over here just because Susie has a bigger booty. The Susie crazy, crazy the Betsy bug over here, up, upstairs. Then you look back and you see her, how she's doing and she's going on about her business and well, taking care of, doing good for herself. And now you have Nicole. That's where we are. As a team. Seventeen and nine, and you know what's so bad about it? Philadelphia got a, a, a plethora of injuries. Plethora of injuries. I don't know what who to put this a blame on. I really don't know who to put this this blame on. Partial Dak. Dak, you get the franchise tag, brother. I'm sorry, you get the franchise tag. I'm sorry, that's just the way it is. You get the franchise tag. But if y'all think y'all think that we should sign him, leave him. Leave, come in. Below. But personally, where he played, once again, only thing about Dak, man, Dak is good. But compare Dak to one of the elites. Let's compare Dak to Lamar Jackson. Who would you take? Let's compare Dak to, uh, what's his name, down there in, in Houston. I ain't gonna have the brain for it, y'all. Um, y'all know who I'm talking about. Dang it, why can't I remember the guy's name? The Houston quarterback. Let's compare him to him. Let's compare him to Aaron Rodgers, which I know Aaron Rodgers has been in the league a little. Let's, let's compare him to Patrick Mahomes. Who would you take? Exactly. And that's why I'm giving him a franchise tag, man. It just, 
He's up and down, man. And then it's, it's like the players. Defense did enough. Defense did enough to win a game. Offense, once again, Kellen Moore. Dude, what happened to the plays that we used against the Rams? Didn't see Pollard and, and Zeke in at the same time. We didn't see Tavon Austin moving in motion to the backfield. We didn't see the, the Razzle Dows. We didn't see none of the stuff that were. And why is it that we feel that we have to have Jason Witten in the game? When you got two young, young tight ends. Damn, man, this is ridiculous. This is ridiculous. And that's the why I felt the way I felt on the, the, the earlier video that I posted. I, I, I know, man, I can sense it. And then y'all, let me share this with you. Did you know that we only win our division in the last six, eight years? Uh, we only been winning on, on during the even years. Yeah, we won in fourteen, we won in sixteen, we won in eighteen. So I've been, I knew that back early in the season. I said, oh man, it's two thousand nineteen. We're not going to win because we lost in fifteen, we lost in seventeen, and here we are nineteen again. But it gives me something to look forward to in 2020. Yep. And everybody's talking about Lincoln Riley. Everybody's talking about Urban Meyer. Everybody's talking about these college coaches, man. I'm just not with that, man. We need somebody with experience that can recognize talent. I just don't personally, I don't think Lincoln, Lincoln Riley's not going to leave Oklahoma. He's not coming here. I promise you that. He's not. Y'all can forget that. Urban Meyer, Urban Meyer, dude. Welcome to the big league, and I don't think you're ready for that yet, dude. You got bad heart. Okay, I'm on my way. Just a minute, okay? Um, biscuits. Uh huh. Eggs. And sausage. All right. Ooh, sounds good. Okay, Papa on his way right now. Mm -hmm. Anyway, so I'm not gonna hold y'all, but man, listen. Mike McCarthy is, or the guy from the office coordinator from from the. Uh, the uh, Ravens, they've been talking about him. I know they don't want to lose him, but, you know, they're the only two candidates you need to be looking at, man. Not no Chris Peterson from Boise State, man. This, this is ridiculous. This is ridiculous. And then that, 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 that in the fourth quarter, the last possession, man, Amari Cooper and Cobb weren't even in the game. But let me say this once again, Jerry, you've learned. You, once again, you've put your hand in it, and you have messed it up because it was, it was your – it was your decision to bring in to bring in um Keller Moore as our offensive coordinator. I still don't see the brilliant mind. I don't see the genius that you 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 uh, uh claim that this kid has. Get the hell out of here, man. So I'm a little upset, man. But anyway, that's what it is. I'm not gonna hold y'all, man. So we got the Redskins. Who gives a fat rap about the Redskins next week? I don't. God, I'm like, all right, y'all, man. Appreciate y'all following and subscribing to the channel, man. And like I say, leave your comments below, man. But, you know, only the way, only way I can accept this is knowing that we get a new coaching style. Because Jason Gary have totally worn out his welcome. I mean, it's been way past overdue. And we need a general manager. I say keep Will McClay, because Will McClay has a nose for talent, man. He's been bringing the talent here. But, but, dude, we got some issues, man. We got straight-up issues. And I'm going to tell you, here we go, another off-season, another training season, training camp season. Oh, my gosh. Anyway, y'all, Merry Christmas and Happy New Year to you guys, man, and you know, you guys enjoy your family. Remember the reason for the season. And we'll talk again. All right. Like I always, I'm not going to say it. <laughs> I'm not even going to say it. Deuces.